If we look here at setup, just look at those grips. That was your before grip. That's your after grip. See the difference in your left thumb? Mm -hmm. So this thumb now is round to the side of the grip more. We could just about see the logo there where we're sort of looking underneath the Velcro bit there, okay? Mm -hmm. But if you watch this move on the takeaway now, if I sort of put the hands there, your initial movement now is kind of a bit of a sort of fan and rotation with that left hand. Mm -hmm. See the left hand yeah, trying to yeah, sort of trigger yeah. around? But the thing is you're doing that while the club face is gripped. So when you're doing that, now you're opening the club face, yeah? Mm -hmm. So if you're holding the club with you and then you twist the club face, it's already now opened, yeah? So then when you come back to the ball, you've then got to do that tiny little tweak there that you did with the hands there mm -hmm. at 100 plus mile an hour, which, yeah, you'll do occasionally. But yeah, yeah, when it's but good, it's good. When it's bad, it's like, oh, bad, God, we're yeah. the ball, boys. So we can get that grip in a better position. As I said, we want to feel a little bit more kind of tilted behind the ball. Not going to be as easy for you with your left below right, but you're able to do it, okay? As you can see, you can get a bit of angle there, get that spine angle behind the ball. That will help you hit up on the ball a bit more. The ones that go shump way up in the air, and when you've come down way too steep this way and just popped mm. it up in the air like a big sort of knuckle ball up in the yeah. sky there, okay? It's almost counterintuitive when the ball is going too high, you've got to sit back behind it more, yeah? And hit up on the ball more. That's the sort of weird thing. If the ball's going high, hit down the ball, surely. When it's an iron, yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. But this bad boy, it's teed up. It's kind of the other way around, okay? Mm -hmm. So making that good swing, the top of the back swing there now. From there now, it's staying behind the golf ball now with that head. Pops back up a little bit, but at least our head at impact now is behind the ball. Your hands are kind of over the ball there now. We're hitting up. We're not thumping the ground. We're actually missing the ground, but hitting the tee peg, yeah? yeah? And that's the feeling we want to try and produce when you come through. So you can finish there, pivot it round to your left side. Nicely over that left foot there. Back foot up on its toe, kind of this way. You're not kind of trying to lean back this way, and you're saying, I'm trying to stop, go right by yeah. coming over the top. And that's the biggest change that you've got to try and feel. Grip, you can do it quite quickly, okay? But it certainly creeped back into some of those old grips every now and then. Yeah. But so being aware of that, I think your checkpoint now, can you see the logo yet? Yeah? See the logo? You've got a chance. You could go a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And if you ever feel the need, you've got to try and flick or twist the hands. Yeah then you've got the club in the wrong position in your hands, yeah? So you can stay in the right spot, get behind the ball. Your hands now are going to return back to where they want to return, yeah? Mm -hmm. Which is basically there, so I can see more of that logo. If I'm starting off here, I've now got to try and return it back from going that way in the back swing, kind of yeah. going to back to normal, and then I'm coming back going, oh, hang on, and you've got to... Yeah, well, good luck with that movement. Yeah. It's either one that goes 260, one that goes way left, and one that loses the ball right, yeah? Dispersion is just going to be a massive scattergun, yeah? We can get more of those golf balls there, and we've had sort of... And one or two is your first one, okay? We're getting more and more in this area, yeah? yeah and once yeah. that grip gets better, this will start yeah. moving that way. So rather than having one there, one there, and one here, we're going to have like kind of half a dozen here, half a dozen there, half a dozen there. So you lose less golf balls in the round of golf, yeah? It makes it a lot easier for you going forward to try to make it a lot more consistent, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Good, good.